Sir. Well, that's okay, cause uh, I ain't got no money, and Grandma don't know her mower's broke. I'm Mobile Mower Ryan. Hey. Mobile Fix It guy. Don't worry, sir. Terrell's gonna help me out. Terrell knows it all. Who's this uh, Terrell? I've never heard of him. First of all, it's Terrell, not Terrell. I don't even know who Terrell is. Terrell does YouTube videos. Ooh. See? He fixes everything mower related. Well, that's bull crap. He's giving away all the secrets. I need to find this Terrell and put this nonsense to a stop. He's gonna put me out of business. Hey, you gotta work on your car first. Don't even start, all right? I know what I'm doing. I know it don't start. what you've been doing. First of all, my name is Terrell, not Terrell. Secondly, I don't appreciate you coming to my shop and not appreciating what I've been doing. And I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm Mobile Mower Ron. I fix mowers on the fly. And I don't appreciate you giving away all the secrets on the internet. Oh, I'm sorry, Mobile Moron. Maybe I'll quit giving away all the secrets on that air screen now. Come here, Morgan. Oh, I got oh, a point for oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Hey, here you go, Ron. Here you go. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, come on, oh, man. Oh. 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 You're gonna be mobile in a few minutes. Pterodactyl here, and today's how-to is gonna be how to get a little bit more speed out of your foot-operated hydro. You know, some of these tractors over time, they start to slow down, and then you're like, how do I get more speed out of it? How do I get to go a little bit faster? So I'm gonna show you how to get some more speed out of it. We're not gonna get NASCAR speed out of it. We're just gonna get a little bit more speed. But the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple of tests to do to make sure that the transmission isn't bad. And then I'm gonna show you what I did to get it to go a little bit quicker. A little jumpy jumpy. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test the transmission to make sure the belt isn't bad or the trans is bad. So what you're gonna wanna do is get up against some kind of stationary object so you can test and make sure the wheels spin. Now you don't wanna damage your hood or smash the front of your tractor hood. So I'm just going up against these blocks here. So here we go. Okay, test, that test is good. Okay, now say I did that test and then wheels didn't spin. Two things could be bad. You might have a bad belt, or you might not have enough tension on the belt. Now the way this tractor works is when you push this brake pedal down, 
the belt gets loose and then when you let off the belt gets tight and it dries the tractor. Now not all hydros work that way. Some of them the belt's tight all the time. But on these crampsmans, that's how it works. When you push this down, the belt's loose. So another trick you can do is pull back on this and make sure you got enough tension. Maybe that spring is stretched that puts the tension on the belt or maybe the belt is worn. So you might want to check the belt. So that's the first two things I do. Make sure you got enough traction and then check the belt and then do this test again if you put a new belt on. But I know the problem with this tractor is it wasn't going fast enough. This got a new belt on it and it was spinning them tires. <laughs> I was just having a cold beverage. All right, now what I think it happened on this tractor is there's a rod that goes from here to the transmission and it's got a bunch of bends in it. And I think what happened is some of the bend had come out. So it's not getting the full travel that it needs. It's a pain in the keister to take that rod out and probably bend some bends in it to shorten it up. So what I did is I come up with a quicker, easier way if you got a wizard wheel and a diamond bit to, to cut and, and, and get it, this thing to, to go a little faster. Hello there. Here we are underneath the tractor. Isn't it cozy under here? All right, enough of that nonsense. This pedal has two bolts in it. You can loosen these two bolts and, this, and you can adjust this this pedal here. I already did that and this thing still drove slow. But that's another thing you can check. Loosen these bolts, raise it all the way up and tighten them down. That may be your problem too. You just gotta get, you know, you needed a little bit more throw on it. So I did that and it, and it still drove slow. So then I had to take it apart and I'm gonna show you what I did to, to get it to go fast. Alright, to remove these pedals, there's two nuts, 11 sixteenths. Just take these two nuts off, and then we get these fill, uh, pedals out of the way, pillows, I almost call them pillows. Get these pedals out of the way, and then I'll show you where I did the grinding. Okay, I got the uh, reverse pedal moved out of the way, so you can see this is that rod, this is for the forward. And as you can see, it's got a quick pin on it where you can take this out. Now, what I did is, I took my tool here with the carbide tip in it. And if you don't have one of these, I don't know, maybe you can use a file or something. But what I did was, there was some, you know, this pedal would hit and then it would stop. It wouldn't go any further. So what I did is I ground it all the way to the edge here to give it about a, a quarter or a half inch more of travel. But then what that did was, this little bump here started hitting on the, on the foot pad. So then I had to make it a little adjustment there. Well, let me take this quick pin out, and then you can see it a little better. Then this rod comes out, and then I got this pedal off. See what I did? This metal, here was back here. So I just took this and ground it and just made this bigger so that would travel farther. That was the easiest way to do. And then these pedals were a little sloppy and they got these plastic shim washers in there. So I found some thin axle washers. I found some of them. I had my junk drawer and I put them in there and kind of shimmed them pedals up because you can see where this is all wore and it kind of took some of that slop out of them pedals there. So now I'm going to put this all back together and we're going to go up top and I'm going to show you what I did there. Alright, another thing, when you go to reassemble these pedals, make sure this little block here gets above. You know, that's where your forward reverse. And there's a little adjustment on here for the reverse. You may not have to mess with that, but if you want to, you can move that a little bit and you might get reverse to go a little bit faster. 
Okay, now after I did that, then I noticed when I pushed on the pedal, this little dog leg in this pedal here was hitting the floorboard. And then it was still keeping it from moving. So then, I picked up the floorboard, and then I took my whizzer wheel, and I ground this out so it had some room. And then that way when you put the floorboard back on, it covers that where I chopped it up, but then when you push on it, the rubber's gonna give. And if you want, you could trim that rubber away too. And then the speed picked up from what it drove originally because it didn't drive very fast, even though it had a new belt and all that stuff on there. So there's a quick little fix on if you want to uh, get a little bit more speed out of your Craftsman tractor. And as always, that's your dinner! Oh, what's this? Oh, there's thousands of good gaskets in here. Look at all these gaskets. Oh, wow. Hope there's something I can eat in here. What's that noise? Come on, what's that noise? Oh, that's not the garbage truck, no! 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 Hopefully, that's the last we're going to see of Mobile Mower Ron. That guy sure was a mower Ron, all right. Ha 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 